raisin stands. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool, Billy. Hi, everyone. What are you looking at? Is cool. But how did you do it, Billy? How did you make the raisins dance like that? Ah, Billy says he used science. Welcome to Stories for Kids by Lingo Kids, where we discover fascinating facts about the world around us and the fun of play learning. Lingo Kids listeners, today we will be doing a science experiment. If you want to try it at home along with us, you may want to pause the episode and have a grown-up help you gather these materials. A few raisins, or peas work too, a glass jar, a half cup of water, a quarter cup of vinegar, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. You can also find this list in the episode description. Don't worry, I'm getting all the materials. Thank you, Elliot. Just remember, when doing a science experiment, the most important thing is to be safe. Be extra careful with all the materials and always have a grown-up help you. Excuse me, are you ready to start the experiment? Yes, Cowie. Let's make sure we have all of our materials. Oh, I can do it. I made a checklist. Do we have raisins? Check! A glass jar? Oh, you better be careful with that one. I will. Check. Half a cup of water? Check. Elliot, you splashed me. Oops. Sorry, Cowie. A quarter cup of vinegar? Check. Yes, Billy. Vinegar does have a strong smell. That's a good observation. What's an observation? Is it on our list? (laughs) <laughs> no, an observation is something you notice. Scientists make careful observations about how the experiment looks and sounds and smells. Oh. Okay, last thing we need is a half teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. Check. Billy says we are ready for the experiment. Lingo Kids listeners, are you ready too? Yeah. yeah. But what do we do first? Billy says step one is to pour the water into the glass jar. Lingo Kids listeners, you can do it too. Great job pouring, Cowie. Step two, add the vinegar to the water. Okay, I'm adding the vinegar and smelling the vinegar. Is it time for the raisins yet? Ooh, I can't wait. Not yet. Billy says step three is to add the baking soda. One small pinch at a time. Ooh, it's fizzing. Yeah, look at the little bubbles. That's a good observation. Okay, last step. Drop in a few raisins, one at a time. Oh no! Nothing is happening! That's okay, Elliot. It's an experiment. You never know exactly what will or won't happen. Wait! Look! One of the raisins is floating to the top! Yeah! There goes another one! They are moving up and down and dancing! Yay! <laughs> Billy says the raisins are not actually dancing. They aren't? Then what are they doing? Let's observe. Lingo Kids listeners, are your raisins moving too? Okay, scientists, what do you think makes the raisins move? Makes me move. Hmm, I think it's the bubbles. Look, when the bubbles slow down, the raisins don't move as much. Interesting observation, Lisa. 
Billy says Lisa is on the right track. The raisins are riding on gas bubbles. Whee! Riding on bubbles sounds fun. It does sound fun. Can anyone guess where those gas bubbles came from? Hmm. It all started when Lisa added the baking soda. Yeah, I agree. Baking soda did it. Billy says that when you add baking soda to vinegar, it makes gas bubbles that cling to the raisins. This lets the raisins float to the top. Hey, that's kind of like using a floaty toy in the pool. Good point, Lisa. But when the bubble gets to the top and pops, what do you think happens to the raisin? Hmm. The raisins fall back down. Cool. But what about this one little raisin? It never moved at all. Yeah, why didn't it move? <laughs> Billy says he's not sure. Maybe it was a little heavier and the bubbles couldn't lift it up. Or maybe there just weren't enough bubbles. Oh, can we add more bubbles? Good idea, Cowie, but how? Lingo Kids listeners, how would you add more bubbles to the jar? Good idea. Try adding a few more pinches of baking soda. Okay, I'm adding it. I'm going to try to give it a little stir. Look, I think it's working. The raisin is starting to move. Let's add another pinch. We did it. Lingo Kids listeners, you can experiment more with the Dancing Raisins experiment at home. Try using peas or small pieces of macaroni instead of raisins. What works best? You can record a video of your experiment and share it with us via Instagram. Just tag at Lingo Kids. Join us next episode to continue play learning together. More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channels. That was fun!